All the information that, that I have is coming from sources from the other side. None of it is through my intuition, none of it is from a guru, none from a religion. Everything that I, that I say is coming from a source living in the life after this life. And so then all of these things must be corroborated. I expect to get the same messages from many sources in the life after this life. But when I get them, then I know that they're true. And one of the things that we get is the fact that we, when we go into the life after this life, we have bodies. We live in houses, we have streets, and we have meadows, and we have mountains, and seas. All of the things that are wonderful about this life, but things are even more wonderful there. So we do have bodies, and, and uh, people say there that uh, when they woke up in the life after this life, and they woke up in a room, or they woke up in a meadow, or wherever they woke up, they thought they were dreaming because of the fact that it's so much like this life. In other words, then all of the senses are there. You have all the sights and sounds. And and the people then are there walking around just like you have normal people walking around town. And, and you're talking to each other just the same way you would be talking. And So we know for a fact that all of the sources from the life after this life tell us that you have a body. And you live in a life that is much like the Earth life, only much, much more wonderful and that you needn't feel like you're going to go into a, a, a ball of energy or that you're, you're going to immerse yourself into the great one entity. Uh, that, that, that just doesn't happen. That is not the way that it happens. You will have a body. You will be an individual. You will continue to be an individual throughout your eternal life. So you don't need to worry about Grandma being gone once you get there, that she didn't reincarnate because you are still an individual when we go into this life. The notion of reincarnation is misunderstood. When people talk about incarnating, we as, as individuals incarnate, we stay as the individuals who we are, but in our higher self, which is the larger self that we're part of, the higher self that has another individual come into Earth school. And that other individual is entwined with us. They maybe have taken a framework from our life but they are entwined with us. And so that new individual then comes into Earth school and they become an individual who lives throughout eternity. But because of the fact that they're entwined with us, so we can have a past life regression. We can learn about that other person's life. We can have the images of that other person's life. And, but it's because of, of we have their framework. It isn't because we then become another person. And so what we need to do, all we need to do is to allow those messages to bubble up from our subconscious and we will learn all of these things about the life after this life. <laughs>